In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, peace be upon you. How are you, my students? I hope you are so fine. Welcome to our English session, Grade 6. Today we will study Unit 6. Time, daily life. Time, daily life. This is the title of our unit. Now we will take some vocabulary. At the first we will talk about daily routine. For example, in the morning, the first thing I, w I do, get up. In the end of the day, I go to bed. After I have my breakfast and wear my clothes, I go to school and start school. At the end of our school, we finish school. So, here some vocabulary about clock. We use the preposition at plus number plus clock to tell the time. At the first, you should repeat after me. Get up, get up, go to bed, go to bed, or sleep. Start school, start school, finish school, finish school. O'clock, o'clock, at plus, number plus clock. We have another vocab. Half. Quarter. Past. And two. How to tell the time? At the first, we will know the question of the type. What is the time? Or what time is it now? What is the time? Or what's the time? Or what time is it now? To ask about the time. If you don't know the time, you can ask anyone have a watch to tell you the time. At the first, we can use its plus number plus. Clock. For example, if we if we use the clock here, we have a long arrow and short. We use the long to tell the minutes and the short for clock. Here, 
The first on 11. That means it's clock. So, the short is on two. So, we can say it's the number of the clock, it's two o'clock. Because the long arrow is on 11. But how till the time if it's quarter or half? If we turn here, the long arrow is on three. We can count every, uh, each point with five minutes. Each point with five minutes. Five plus 5, 10, plus 5 equal 15, that means quarter, so we can say quarter past the number of clock, it's Quarter, and we use past plus the clock. It's quarter past five clock. Here, we use past, we use quarter before it, so we can say past use with half and quarter, but two, we use it just with quarter. We can say, if we turn the long arrow, on six, that means half, but it's quarter. Here, if we want to tell the time, the long arrow on six means half, the short on five. So we can say it's half past five o'clock. We can take a note half and quarter they are used with past. So we said past used with half and quarter. How to tell the time if we turn its 
like that here We can note the long is on 9 and the short is on 10. So we can say it's quarter to 10 clock. I can say quarter two, but we can't say half two. We can say quarter two, not half plus two. And we can say half past, quarter past. So, how we use quarter with past and half with past, we use quarter past plus number of time, we use half past plus number the time, we use quarter to plus the number of the time and now What's the time? It's Space. What's the time? It's space. The first, the question, you, the first question, I will answer it. What is the time? It's here. The long arrow is on six. That means half. So we can say it's half. Half, the short is on four. So we can say past. Four. 
And the next example, you can answer it as a homework. Another example, what is the time The short is on 11, uh, 12, and the short is on 9. So it's space. Now we are finished our new lesson. I hope you are under, you are fine. Welcome and goodbye.